What up guys, my name is Snoo Jay and today we are in the beautiful Calabasas. A lot, a lot of wealthy people live here. And today, I'm gonna be asking individuals, hey, what do you do for work? How much money do you make? How can one make a million dollars? This should be a good one. So we saw my guy over here driving in the Porsche. What kind of Porsche is that? It's a 911 992. How Definitely. much does that how much does that go for? 120 grand. 120 grand. It comes to my next question. What do you do for work? Uh, I'm in finance. Okay. I uh, I work in the uh, wealth advisory space. Oh nice. How long have you been doing that for? Uh, 25 years, maybe longer you've been alive. Really? Do you have to go to college for that? You do. How much would you say you make per year doing that? Well, more than most people. What do you say like 2 300k or more? A lot more. A lot 500k? A month. 500k a month, 500k a month, that's crazy. Is there any tips you wanna to get to the inspired individual that wanna do what you do? Chase your dreams, never stop. Anything else that's um, not so cliche? I really think that working hard and being focused and getting an education uh, is step one. Okay. And uh, be willing to learn, be coachable. Okay. Uh, I think that's probably one of the biggest uh, things for young people, be coachable. Be coachable, willing yeah. to learn. We love that. Thank you so much, brother. Yeah. We love Thank the Rolex. You. I appreciate yeah, you. Take care, brother. Take care. Thank you. Thank you. What do you do for work? Uh, I work in advertising. Okay. How long have you been doing that for? I've been doing that for probably 25 years. Really? Mm -hmm. How much would you say that makes you per year? Um, it depends from 250 to 750. That's really good. How does one get into that and make that kind of money? Well, you ha I mean, you do, it's all about context. You have to do a lot of networking, a lot of seminars, a lot of conferences, you know, um, and, and you have to side hustle at the beginning. I see. A lot of side hustling at the beginning, the, um, that's really important because otherwise you end up feeling very desperate when mm. you're first starting out. What I would recommend if you're, if you're starting out and that's what you want to do, and any, you know, just as a, as a, uh, as an entrepreneur, yeah. um, for me, being a woman, being Latina, um, it was a lot, a lot harder. There is no trust fund. There is no, you know, there's no seed money. Yeah. So I had to go out and hustle it. You did it on your own. I did it on my own. Yeah. So just going out and, and, and meeting clients and cocktail parties and a lot of times just coming home with nothing. Okay. Um, and, you know, you meet one person. And from what that person, you know, you you keep you just keep it going. And that's just, like the connection to absolutely. get to what you're doing. Yeah, and sometimes I like, that. like okay. you know, there was a job that I did maybe, I don't know, twenty years ago where I met like five different people and those five people are still my clients. Oh wow. So there you that's go. The, that's the importance of staying connected and staying, you know, with, with your contacts. What do you do for work? I do uh, technology sales. Okay. Yeah. What's the company's name? I read, well, I'd rather not say that. Okay, yeah, no worries. You yeah. keep it private. Yeah. How long have you been doing it for? Uh, about six years. Okay. You like what you do? I love what I do, yeah. How much do you make per year doing it? I do pretty well. I mean, I, uh, you know, it's uh, miss six figures. And six it's, figures? Uh, yeah. And okay. It's, and it's, uh, I, I, I work with uh, people who are sending uh, rockets up to space. Oh, and, really? Uh, it's really, really cool. NASA? Or what? Yeah, yeah, I support NASA. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. you're, you're in the real deal then. Well, I, I, I contribute as far as give them a lot of information, insight to help them send uh, rovers and, and uh, satellites to space. So. It's definitely more than six figures for sure. Yeah, something like that. Um, what is the tip that you can give to the individual that wants to do what you do? Um, stay focused, determined. Ask yourself, what is your why in life? Why do you want to do what you're doing? Is it for family? Is it for career development? Is it for professional, personal gain? But just if there's something you want to do, just make sure you uh, uh, you just put all the right steps in place. Stay focused, dedicated, stay hungry. Yeah. And uh, just feel like you want to be a contributor to society versus a, a detriment to society. My man, I love that. Thank you so much for your uh, time. Sorry to bother you. What do you do for work? I just moved here from New York. Okay. As of right now, I have a business that I'm actually formulating with my partner. It's called On The Roads. Okay. Um, I can't really give a broad detail of right, what right. it does, but I'm into, into the technology world and I'm building something that I believe in my mind without a doubt that it is something that could bring some change to people. I also have a restaurant that I've registered. I've registered oh, over, wow. I've registered over it's 10 businesses. Oh, wow. a real businesses. entrepreneur, yeah. 10 businesses yeah. in California. 
I have min, um, uh, business in uh, Minneapolis. I have oh, business wow. in uh, Texas. Okay. And then I have business in New York as well. Okay. What I've done is see the vision and start doing them. And execute the plan. Yeah. yeah. In, in Calabasas and, and, and All Valley. I you like that. You can eat Nigerian food from African Caribbean, which is part of my restaurant. How much would you say you make per year from everything that you're doing? I would say for my restaurant, I, was, I would tag it at 1.7 1. million. 1.7 million per year. Yeah. Oof, that's yeah. pretty good, man. Yeah. I have lived a life where everything that has happened to me, Everything that has been has been a part of the story. Yeah, I was being prepared. See, I came from Nigeria at the age of 15. Uh -huh. So I moved into this system where I was already in, in, in university. That's college. Yeah, in, in Nigeria coming here to go back to high school, you know, yeah. and kind of learning to graduate in high school and then going back to college again to re-educate myself. Yeah, then to working from I worked for Wells Fargo. I, my first job was actually McDonald's. Okay, McDonald's. So I worked at McDonald's. I was actually selling a lot of burgers. Right, right. And um, you know how the system works. Yeah. And then I decided I wanted to... I, then my next job was um, working at Dollar Tree. But okay, Dollar my, Tree. My vision was so big that I kept on moving from jobs to jobs. Yeah. People would hire me, but they didn't... Hi they, they hired me, but they didn't understand that. I was looking into these jobs as more of a vision that I have. Yeah. So I was just climbing up without even me knowing no, it, but true. that was what I was doing. Yeah, definition of an entrepreneur that's just doing it, going from city to city, following the vision. Yeah. My man, thank you so much for your time. We all appreciate right. all those wise words. No I'm sure you're going to inspire a lot of people watching right now that, that need it. So thank you so much, man. Yes, yeah. everybody. Thank you so much for yeah. letting me on your channel. <laughs> yeah. Stay blessed and also use your mind. It's very, very powerful. Forget about school. If you don't have school here, you don't have school anywhere. We see you out here in Calabasas and we're curious. So what do you do for work? I've been a land developer okay. throughout my life and I enjoy this neighborhood. How much did that make you when you were doing it? Are you still doing it or? Oh, I'm not going to give numbers, but we live very comfortable. So you're probably a multimillionaire. You're just not saying. <laughs> yeah, uh, you're close. <laughs> you're just close. How do you get into something like that? Like what are the, some of the well, necessary Well, I think steps? my age had a lot to do with it, okay. which is a little discouraging to the younger people, but you never know what the future is. When I bought my first house, it wasn't very much, but I thought it was a lot. Okay. How much was it, if you don't mind me asking? Uh, it was 30,000. 30,000. To and... buy a house okay. in the San Fernando Valley. Uh, this this was 1972. 1972, okay. 74, excuse me. And the lady across the street came to our house and she informed us that we really got taken on the house because we were the first people to pay over $30,000. We still kept the house and we rented it out and today it's worth close to a million. Wow. So that kind of tells you what investing in real estate does. But we don't know what real estate is going to be like in 10 years from now. 100%. It could be double what it is now. People that want to invest in real estate now, and if they don't have enough, they might want to invest in partnership. Yeah, that is true. And then they can benefit and then venture eventually out on their own. Right. The first steps you took was buying that house in 1974. Right. And then from there, how did you know you wanted to be a land developer just from just accumulating uh, more because properties? Because I or? acquired some land in the Midwest and it was like uh, 80 acres and what we did is we put all the utility lines in. Okay. And then we started doing all the preliminaries to develop the land. Gotcha. We put in a bridge, we did some work on a, uh, a, a small river going through for proper drainage Yeah. and things like that. So, okay. I, you know, I, I kind of felt my way into it. Got you, got you. So one thing led to another is what you're one saying. One thing led to another. Is there anything that you want to give to the inspired individual right now? The best advice I can give them right now, they can find a way to get some money to put down on property and start fixing it up or renting it out and trying to keep it or do something with it that's fine but if they don't they may want to go in partnership like I said before partnerships and work with maybe two or three other people that are in their same situation and they can start investing and eventually they'll build up enough capital where they can go out on their own all right so as we're walking right I look to the right and I see turtles bro it got me tripping I'm not talking about four turtles we got 300 turtles, bro, everywhere. I just feel like I have to show you guys. Let's continue the journey. How are you doing? Good. I'm Sam, by the way. Hi, I'm Diane. Nice to meet you, Diane. What do you do for work? Actually, I'm retired now. I spent 50 years working in the outdoor business. Okay. For, um, finished my career as Adidas Outdoors sports marketing manager. Oh, really? You so did that I for 50 years? A, I worked in the outdoor business and then that was the, my last 10 years. Okay, how much did that make you per year, would you say? At the end, I was making about $180,000 a year. $180,000. With no college degree. Okay. 
I started we and when I graduated high school I started a factory making backpacking equipment. Oh wow. And that company went public, one of the first outdoor companies to go public. Okay. And then I just was in the outdoor business working with different manufacturers and you know, L.L. Bean and REI and making all their products and stuff. And That's then, amazing, yeah. Yeah, it was so a you, great career. So you're an entrepreneur from the start. Yes. Pretty much. When oh my I graduated. God. Is there any tips that you want to give to the inspired individual to do what you do? The only thing I would say is I did not have a college degree, mm -hmm. but what I did do is take advantage of opportunities. I went to West Valley Occupational Center and okay. got some skills in that. And then I just worked hard and, um, you know, just enjoyed what I did. I just. When opportunities came my way, I checked them out. So. So you're saying every time an opportunity comes knocking, always try to always see try. what's going on. Yeah, always okay. try. And you know, not everyone's made to go to college. But that's okay. Some people can go do vocations, and yeah. that's what I did, and it ended up with the best career ever. So you're saying college isn't necessary, especially in today's times too? It depends. I mean, not, not everyone's made for college. Yeah, that you is know, true. You can be a plumber, electrician. Those are great paying jobs. You know, you can be, you know, my daughter is a producer at Disney Plus, but oh, she what? probably could have done that had she just gone and worked as a PA yeah. straight out of high school. Yeah, So, that is you know, true. There's, she, went to, she went to musical theater college and got a degree, but, you know, she probably could have done it. So not that I'm saying people shouldn't go to college, but if you, you're not so inclined, it's not the end of the world. And then, there's ways to make money. Okay, and then my last question, what advice would you give to your younger self? <sighs> Probably enjoy the beginning of my career more because I was so stressed out. Yeah, that makes you sense. You know, had I known where it was going to end up, I would have enjoyed it all the way that instead is true. of, you know, we panicking. Love, we so. love that. Thank you so much for your time. Thank we really you. appreciate it. Was it. Fun. All right, we got my man over here. What's your name? Gary Stern. Gary, Gary yeah. nice to meet you. What do you do for work? Musician. Musician. How long you been doing that for? Uh, how long? Uh, about sixty years. Sixty years. And how much have you made doing that? About a million. A million? Okay. Any tips to the inspired individual that wants to make music and and do it for sixty years? Yeah. Uh, uh, play what you like. Play what you like. What do you play? Everything. Everything. Okay. So you're pretty diverse. Yeah. Okay. I play them all at the same time. Okay. I like that. And you still do it, or you, you're retired? Okay. No, Which, I'm, not, I'm retarded. But no, retired. Yeah, no. But okay. You didn't even laugh. <laughs> My man, what's your name? Larry. Larry, nice, nice to, meet to meet you. I'm Snooge. Nice to meet you. Pleasure, Snooge. pleasure. What do you do for work? I'm a writer. Writer, a director. Mm -hmm. How long you been doing that for? Nineteen. I started writing on movies when I was nineteen, so that's 2009, 2010. Okay. What movies have you uh, written for? Or, written on? Yeah, yeah written on, um, sorry. Some of them I can't say because I was ghostwriting. Okay. It pays the best when you're young and you want some money. How much um, does that pay if you don't mind me asking? Ghostwriting, it depends. On the client, it can be anywhere between 20 and $30 per page if okay. it's a short or a feature film, so that's the rent money. Okay, um, and how many pages will that, will that be on average? Short, looking at 30 pages. Okay. Uh, feature, 100 pages. Okay. So it can be somewhere between 1,500, 4,500, you know, just to write oh, a feature. Oh, wow. Okay, that's, that's interesting. Four to six weeks of work. Got you, got so you. rent money for a month or so. Any tips to the inspired individual that wants to be a writer, direct? Believe your imagination. Listen to your imagination because a lot of people are not really inspired to come up with new original ideas. Yeah. So listen to your imagination because now that people are going to want new original ideas, the people who have the best original ideas, I imagine those are going to be the people that get the biggest check. I love that, my man. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Appreciate your time, man. Have a good day. How you doing, man? Andy. Yeah. Andy, I'm Sam. Nice, nice to meet you. Sam. What do you do for work? Uh, mortgage lender. Mortgage lender. How long have you been doing that for? Somewhere between 20 and 25 years. Okay. You like what you do? Yeah. How much do you make or can you make per year doing that? Make quite a bit. It depends on the year. I mean, it's ebb and flow with the markets. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, there's people who make 50 grand a year. There's people who make $5 million a year. How much do you make? More than 200 and less than a million. How do you get into that exactly? Is there like any steps that you... you got to get your real estate license. Real estate license first, first. okay. To be a licensed mortgage lender, you need to have a, a real estate license. Real estate license you first, okay. You get your test taken and then you want to start out of the company that trains you. Okay. There's companies out there that'll train you. You can get involved and they'll bring you up the ranks. And there's other places that they don't do that. There's yeah. smaller shops and... You know, ideally you want to kind of get in, learn the ropes, and then, you know, find a place that works best for you once you've learned what you're doing. Got you. So, real estate license first and then get into a company. Is there a certain amount of years you have to be in that company? No, no. it's just okay. whatever you're comfortable with. But remember, this is it's a commission business. Yeah. So, sales. you got to be able to bring in business. It's hard if you're 18. Yeah. Because, you know, you don't have a bunch of people that you know that want to buy houses and need a mortgage loan. You know what I mean? Yeah. But if you're in your mid-20s like mid mid to early 30s, it's great. You know, it's a great time to get in because all your 
your circle of influence is going to be looking to buy, you know, property. 100%. Do you need a lender's license for that or is it just a real estate license? The real estate license, same thing. You have to oh. be licensed with a, the NMLS, which it's, it's just going through a process. It takes a few minutes. Well, not a few minutes. Yeah, 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 yeah. But the real estate license is the first step. Okay. And then there's no other testing for the lenders? No, there's there's continuing education every year that you have to do. But got no, you. not once you get your license, you get your license. Well, why didn't you choose the real estate um, route? Do you like the lending more? I work Monday through Friday, man. They work nights and weekends. Got you. You wanted more of like a controlled schedule. Any advice to the individual that's inspired to do what you do? Like, what would you leave with them? You know, I mean, I work my ass off for many years, but now I've got a pretty comfortable lifestyle. And, yeah. you know, I don't work 40 hours a week anymore. I don't yeah. need to. And you know, I'm 56 years old and I got a pretty good life. You look so, good. So, um, <laughs> still a little fat, but we're working on it. My brother, thank you so much for your time. No we, pre man. we appreciate it. You guys. No, thank you. Your name is Sam. Sam, me too. Awesome. Sam, nice to meet you. Nice Sam. To meet you. Yeah. What do you do for work? I'm a used car salesman. Oh, really? Yeah. How long have you been doing that for? 10 years. 10 years. Do you like what you do? I do. You got to like what you do always. How much do you make per year doing that? 250. 250K per year? Yeah. It's pretty good. It's very good. Are you like top salesman? Yeah. If somebody wanted to do what you do, make the kind of money you make, what kind of tips would you give them to get to where you're at? Just focus. Focus and be different. Be different. You just be different. Just find your niche and just stick with it. How did you find your niche? It just it kind of came to it. It just kind of like one thing led to another? One thing led to another, and that's it. I did banking for 10 years. How do you know? I'm 40 almost. 40, so 10 years. So so then how long have you been doing this for? Since I was 30. 30, okay, so, so 10 years and, as well. And banking was uh, for 10 years. So okay. graduated high school, started working the bank. 10 years later, that was done. Needed to find something new to do. When you have the right product, right pricing, everything just sells on its own. Got you. My brother, thank you so much no for your time. For sure. yeah, we appreciate it, man. We got my man over here. What's your name? Dr. Marlon Rollins. Doc that explains it. He's a doctor. What do you do for work? All right. Um, I'm a president and CEO of a addiction rehab okay. program, and I'm a licensed therapist as okay. well. How long have you been doing that for? Oh, God. Good 20 years. 20 years. Uh -huh. You love what you do? I love it, man. How much would you say you make per year doing that? Um, I'm making... Well into the six figures. Well into the six. Would you say over a mil? Yes to that answer. Okay. So, okay. <laughs> um, any tips to the individual that wants to do what you do? Obviously, I feel like you got to go to school for that. Yep. Right? But anything else you want to give that's not so cliche, but something that like just comes from your personal experience? Uh, my personal experience is just be smart, really, with your money. Um, if you're in the goal of pursuing just finance, you're going to be doing it wrong. Yeah. It has to be about the meaning and the purpose and then elevate yourself at the highest level that you possibly can so that you can make the biggest difference. If I put money out front, I'm gonna lose the meaning, especially in the world of healthcare. Yeah. So it's really not about the dollar amount um, by any stretch of imagination. It really is about finding your passion and going after that and just pursue it at the absolute highest level. Surround yourself uh, with people who have good business acumen. I like so that. that's not typically something that you find in psychology um, is find out people look at profit and loss statements, understand business acumen, know, understand how to invest, understand your margins, understand the business model of whatever it is that you're passionate about. Mm -hmm. That's really what it is uh, all about. And then you can understand how to turn your passion or your purpose into something meaningful because we live in America and it's a capitalist society. Mm -hmm. uh, so that means that you can be an inventor, you can take whatever passion you want and figure out how to monetize that. I love that. So if you're talking about money, that's the part of it. Uh, you can be successful, pursue your dreams, just don't quit. Uh, you're going to lose money sometimes, yeah, but then you true. just figure it out, right? So, yeah, that's that's the that's the country we live in. God bless America. Mm. Uh, put in the work, and you absolutely can. Uh, this is the land of opportunity because of that. So, yeah, no, yeah, 100%. See, me and him think alike, man. Okay. <laughs> oh, you, we do. All right, okay. <laughs> All right, guys. I'm not going to lie, it was a tough day. There was a lot of rejections. I'm talking 30 rejections, right? For the people that did participate, Thank you. I'm sure you guys learned a lot too. Please like the video, subscribe, turn on notifications, hit that bell so every time I post you will be alerted. And uh, yeah, man, tell us what city you want to do next. Tell me what you want me to do next. And until then, we're always going to get rejected in life. I always leave you guys with this. We always get rejected in life. It's what you do after that. Remember, rejection always means redirection. I said it before, I'm going to say it again. Keep going, have that no hesitation mentality. Strive to be the best that you can, okay? Tomorrow isn't promised. As cliche as it sounds, Create the opportunity. Do not wait for the opportunity. You tell me I'm someone no you want. You tell me I'm something you need. But baby, you know that I'm bad for you, yeah. Why you gotta be so naive? If I treat you like one I don't want, then you know I'm just so hard to please. I lie.
out of your face to get what I want, babe Somehow you keep calling to me